Are you living your life or does your life live you? I believe this to be one of Nietzsche's most important and stimulating ideas. It raises so many questions about who we are and how did we come to be. Now, it is important to emphasize that Nietzsche's uh, philosophical inquiry is full of passion and his writing style is very much unlike any philosophy paper, papers nowadays. He had a quick mind and he did understand uh, scientific facts, but he was more he, he deemed more important the, the quest for self-discovery and uh, the subjective truth. Become who you really are, he says. Very many people misunderstood Nietzsche because he liked playing with metaphors quite a lot. As a matter of fact, it, it's, it's been said that no word is wasted in any of Nietzsche's books. He was talking about the death of God, nihilism and pain as necessary for growth. So, quite scary things, but let's not forget that Nietzsche's main aim is to overcome nihilism, or how Max Weber beautifully put it, to overcome this polar, nice, uh, polar night of icy darkness. Although Nietzsche put forward the idea of amorality, he was, suggest he, he was suggesting that we should find our own way and our own morality, and not let our times and culture dictate who we are. What he denies is the herd and um, living by the herd and not moral principles in general. As you can see, the way in which you get your answer is more important than the answer itself. Taking control over yourself and what you represent manifests itself through amor fati, uh, namely the love of faith. This means that each of our decisions is so much in accordance with who we really are that we would take the same decision over and over again throughout eternity and be happy with it. It simply means, it means that we have come to live our lives and we no long, longer allow our lives to live us.